10 things that I don't want to see in Sonic Superstars. Let's just go straight into it. Starting with the first thing, I don't want to see any missing audio in the cutscenes. I know this is a bit of a weird one, but let me explain. Basically, if for those of you who have seen the GameSpot gameplay, the game overall looked quite nice, right? But was I the only person to notice that, especially during the boss cutscenes, something felt a little bit off with them? For some reason, when they were showcasing the boss and getting into formation, there were some sound effects that straight up didn't show up and I felt like that they needed to. I hope that this doesn't make it into the final game. My beliefs as to why this has happened is because well this is an early copy of the game so obviously it's still technically in development which is why I'm not super nervous about this one but it was still a strange thing that took me out of the gameplay a little bit that I hope doesn't make it into the final version of the game. Okay this is a controversial one already but at number two I don't want to see any returning stages. I know we've been doing this for quite some time now probably since what Sonic Generations or something but come on Sega. I know that you love the nostalgia train, we all do, we done it in Mania and we was all happy about that, having Green Hill Zone and Chemical Plant Zone back to back was great, however it's time to move on, thankfully in the trailers it looks like we're not starting off with Green Hill Zone and also I didn't see Chemical Plant, come on how many times are we going to use the same formula of just reusing stages? Now unfortunately I feel like this might get debunked already because recently Sonic Instagram posted this picture which looks to be Mystic Cave Zone. Now the reason why I'm not overly upset about this is because one, Mystic Cave Zone is a great stage and it's from my favourite video game of all time being Sonic 2, but two, Mystic Cave Zone as far as I'm aware hasn't been remade yet. So even if it is returning, it hasn't been done yet. So I guess it's still technically creative and still technically new. But it would be nice if we got all brand new stages. I loved Mania and I loved Origins, but I think it's finally time to move on from the classic stages, even though it's still in the classic formula. This one's pretty self-explanatory. At number three, I've got a short campaign. This one is simply based off of the rumours circulating that this game is going to be full price. Now, I haven't actually got the price of the game on this list. If it's going to be full price then cool, I just hope that it lives up to it. And one of those things is the length of the game. Why are we going to spend what £50 on a brand new Sonic game if it's just as long as Sonic Mania for example. But Sonic Mania was a great game, however I think we can all agree that it was a little bit on the short side. I obviously don't want this to happen with a game that we're going to be spending a lot of money on. Especially for a lot of us, we literally just spent our money on Sonic Frontiers. But at least with that game, it's somewhat lengthy and it's quite big to explore and things like that. So hopefully this isn't a game that under delivers in terms of the amount of content that we have inside of it. At number four, I don't think this is likely to happen anyway, but just in case as it's not the same developers as Mania. Um, I don't want this game to be easy. I don't think it will be. I don't think Sega will allow that to happen. <laughs> I think anything based off of classic Sonic will probably be difficult. Don't get twisted, Sonic Mania wasn't nearly as difficult as the original games. But that being said, a lot of the stages were ported over from the original games. I think a lot of the ease came from the polish and then being able to play those classic stages in a more modern lens I suppose. Um, same thing with Generations actually but hopefully they tighten up the controls and everything is still polished but hopefully they also optimise the gameplay so it kind of meets us in the middle with this nice balance so we still get the difficulty but with the polished and up to date controls. I think that's only fair and that would obviously contribute to the game's high value as well. <laughs> All my Mario fans stand up at number 5. I do not want this game having us defeating every boss in a very similar way. Now obviously we're probably going to spin dash all of them to defeat them, which makes sense. However, the two bosses that we saw in the GameSpot gameplay has me quite optimistic because that flying boss, it literally had us spin dashing up what the rope that it shot out and then it took damage that way, which I thought was very interesting. And with that not incredibles robot we have to get it to hit itself which is very interesting 
So what I'm hoping for is that all of the bosses are like this and not just those two or just a little handful. I'm, I'm obviously assuming that there will be some bosses, maybe some mini bosses where they'll be pretty standard where we just hit them and that's it. Pretty weak if you ask me. However, it would be nice if the bosses all had some, a layer of diversity and a level of intrigue. Remember in the original New Super Mario Bros, I swear each castle boss was completely different from one another and you defeated them in different ways as well. So maybe, just maybe, Sega took a page out of Nintendo's book. Speaking of Nintendo, at number 6, I don't want to see the Nintendo Switch version of this game be unplayable or just finding it hard to render. I think we can all agree that the Nintendo Switch port of certain third party games isn't the best version and that's really sad to say because sometimes it's very good like with Sonic Mania but on the other hand with games such as Rocket League, Fall Guys and sometimes even Minecraft um, it just falls flat completely. Um, take it from someone who's actually tried to live stream these games before and all you will have is just servers not being able I don't even want to finish the sentence, man. Like, why would you bring it over to the console if it's too powerful for the console? But Nintendo's just getting too big for their boots. But anyway, again, I think this game has a good chance of running well because, like I said, Sonic Mania runs pretty well. And obviously, with that kind of speed, that's pretty good. And it's still, I didn't see any frame drops or anything like that. And also, Sonic Superstars graphics remind me a lot of Super Monkey Ball. Another game with speed and 3D models and that game performed fairly well on the Nintendo Switch as well. So I think we should be fine with this one. However, I am still a little bit sceptical because of the potential online multiplayer aspect. Let's hope that that works and that it's not a PowerPoint presentation. At number 7, I've got reusing the same boss throughout the playthrough. Now I'm not talking about Eggman showing up all the time because at least with Eggman he always has different inventions so when we go up against those inventions it feels like a different fight every single time. What I'm talking about is what like Boom Boom in the Mario games like he doesn't really change that much how you defeat him is exactly the same basically just copy and paste bosses. I think this one is pretty self explanatory I don't think any of us wants that. Thankfully in Sonic that's not too common, he's not nearly as guilty as the Mario franchise but that being said, considering that there's a lot of new Super Mario Bros aspects to the Sonic Superstars game which I might make a separate video about, I'm hoping and praying that I didn't take the whole mini boss aspect of it as well because that would stink. At number 8 I've got a lot of Sonic 1 bonus stages. So as we know, it's confirmed that the Sonic 1 bonus stages are in this game. I personally don't like that. I think, like I said in my uh, reveal trailer, first impressions, you had all of these options for bonus stages and you decide to bring back this one. I understand that Sonic Mania took debatably the best one, which was CD, but really Sonic 1? I would have taken Sonic 2's one over this one. Anyway, it's in the game. Nothing stopping that. My thing is, is it going to control well? Is it going to be better than in the original? I hope it will and I'm anticipating that it will. I'm hoping for the best but expecting the worst, obviously. Now from the looks of it, it seems like we're getting multiple bonus stages in this game, which is really cool as always. I'm hoping that the Sonic 1 bonus stages get used the least. <laughs> I know that's a bit of a cheeky point to, to drop but I just don't want to see it very much. I hated it in the original and I just don't think I'm going to like it very much here. Hopefully they make it fun with the multiplayer or even with the controls but if I see it as little as possible we'll be happy. So this one is a little bit loaded but at number 9 I've got the game trying to cram every 2D Sonic idea. We have had games before where they felt pressured to cram every bit of nostalgia, easter eggs, gimmicks and everything to make everyone happy. Now as someone who loves gimmicks and loves uh, easter eggs within games because I think it keeps things interesting and especially for the long time fans they'll appreciate it a lot. 
I think it's very cool that they have included certain easter eggs and stuff. I just don't want them to go overboard to the point that it ruins the game and it makes it feel crammed. If you can't include a gimmick from Sonic Advance or Sonic Rush, it's not that big of a deal, you see what I mean? But if you can, that would be cool. And maybe just replace it with a reference, it doesn't necessarily have to be gameplay or anything like that. And on top of that, you need to make room for all of the new stuff as well, so there's two sides to this. The point that I'm trying to make here is, I hope the developers don't feel pressured to include everything running the risk of ruining the game stressing themselves out and then not executing the game in the best way that they could have done and the last point i wanted to make the last thing and i know every single one of you guys feel the exact same thing as me i'm hoping and praying that this doesn't happen but as i said before hope for the best expect the worst and that's having to wait a year for the physical copy of the game. Whose idea was this? <laughs> Whose idea was this? I need to confront this person right now. <sighs> Let me know in the comments down below what things you don't want to see in Sonic Superstars and are you excited for the game? Anyway, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.